What's up fellow filmmakers and creators, Connor Ricky here. So today, or this whole weekend, um, I'm out here shooting an event called Outpost Trade. It's like an outdoor uh, conference trade show for all the outdoor and travel and adventure brands. Um, and I'm gonna be using the one wheel to get some really cool shots this weekend. So um, let's see how that goes. I'm really excited to kind of see what I can come up with in terms of one wheel stabilizer shots. So let's check it out. Really sorry for the quality reduction. I'm shooting on my iPhone 8 right now because um, I don't have my other camera with me. But right now we're getting some um, one wheel Ronin stabilizer shots with Harley Davidson um, for this event. They're one of the sponsors. So um, we're using the one wheel on the GH5 and the Ronin. We get some sick shots and it's working well. Check it out. For the one wheel to get that shot i would have had to have number one a car and number two someone driving that car so that involves an extra person and then having access to a car um, the thing about the one wheel is you can just conveniently go out whenever you want and just get shots like this um, super easy super quick and you can get even better footage than in a car because i wouldn't be able to get that low if i was hanging out of car i just want to show you how bumpy and potholy and crappy this road is and we were still able to get really smooth shots and roll right over it on the one wheel. Um, I don't think you could do that on like a boosted board or an electric skateboard. More than just using the one wheel to get good shots, we've been using it as transportation to get around this event. It helps a ton when you're doing event coverage. Look at all these cameras here. Uh, camera, 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 camera. Holy moly, it's 2018. All right, we're using the one wheel to get a six shot. I'm on this vintage e-bike right here. We're in the tensile village at this event. There's like 20 of these um, tensile tents set up. They're like tree tents pretty much but now we're going to do some shooting with the Glidecam HD 4000 instead of the Ronin I kind of just want to see how it compares um, when you're riding the one wheel trying to get stable shots so check it out. I would definitely say that the Ronin M was way more stable than um, using the Glide Cam. I think it's just because overall it's a more stable gimbal. Um, the Glide Cam is a lot more user heavy. You have to actually know how to use it. Whereas the electronic gimbals, most of the time you can kind of just run around and um, you know shoot and get pretty good footage. So I think that by having the electronic gimbal, it's just one less thing to have to worry about because you are also trying to focus on not falling and breaking your gear when you're using the one wheel. So. Alright, so just for fun, I'm gonna try and get some handheld smooth shots now on the one wheel in the GH5. It does have pretty good internal stabilization. Um, I don't have very high hopes, but we'll see how this footage looks. Check it out. That's a wrap. We're heading out, Outpost 2018, done. Had a great time ripping around and seeing how we could push the limits with filmmaking by using this one wheel. Woo! And just like that, I'm back from Outpost Trade. I think the footage turned out really cool using the one wheel and the gimbal. 
Um, I'm really excited now to use it for more projects and more events in the future. And just as a quick side note, I want you guys to check out this little janky homemade uh, ring light setup I just put together. It even comes with this little on-off switch remote, which is pretty nifty, I think, for YouTube videos and I might use more in the future. Let me know if it looks good. But anyways, here's my 30 second summary of the one wheel and my experience using it for filmmaking. Let's go. Yes, this thing is expensive, but in my opinion, totally worth it. I keep finding more uses for it every single time I ride it, and you can pick up a used one like I did. Beyond just filmmaking, you can use the one wheel for event transportation, carrying stuff around, pure fun, and I've actually made some friends and business connections riding this thing around because you are the center of attention and everyone will look at you. It may sound silly, but the one wheel is a legitimate competitive advantage for you over all the other content creators. Because one, your footage is gonna be really cool and you stand out like crazy when you're riding around with a gimbal. That's impressive to a lot of people and brands. And following that, I just wanted to say that you do not need this. I would much rather invest in a drone, a better camera, better lenses, better gimbals, all that stuff before you buy the one wheel as purely a filmmaking tool. It works out well for me because I use it for a ton of other reasons other than just filmmaking, but as a filmmaking tool, it does work really good. If you're in the financial situation to be able to afford one, I would highly recommend it. I know that was a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but that is it for this conclusion and video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you can see more. Um, this, I have a lot more to say about this one wheel. I'll probably be posting more videos in the future about it. This was purely um, a, a review of the one wheel as a filmmaking to, tool, sorry. But I might, I might do like a more thorough, full one wheel review um, in the future because this thing's awesome and I have so many uses and so many good things to say about it. A couple bad things, but more good things. Yeah, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.